Good evening, Internet. I am Matt Buyak, and in this video, we'll take a look at the 18th problem from the Project Euler Problem Archive. So this problem asks us to find uh, a route through a triangle of positive integers uh, such that the uh, sum of the values along that route uh, is maximized. Um, and more specifically, it asks us for that score uh, along that route. Um, so the, the technique we're going to use to solve this problem, uh, I would consider to be a variation on uh, dynamic programming, which is a technique that we've used in at least one video previously. Um, roughly speaking, the idea is that um, uh, the score for um, the optimal route ending in a given cell uh, is determined uh, entirely by the scores in the uh, uh, cell up and to the left and the cell up and to the right. Uh, and so if we determine the scores for the optimal routes leading to each cell in a given row, we can then determine the optimal routes, uh, or rather the scores for the optimal routes um, leading to each cell in the following row. Uh, and we can do that all the way down until we get to the last row. Uh, and then we can identify the cell that has the greatest score, uh, and that will correspond to the optimal route. Um, you'll note that we don't actually have to find the optimal route itself. We only have to find the score that corresponds to the optimal route. So let's get into it. As usual, we'll copy our uh, template directory to make our problem directory. And we'll open our uh, main.cpp. Uh, okay, so before we begin, we actually need um, to get our, our input uh, numbers into our program. So I'm going to uh, copy and paste these into a temporary file. I uh, called uh, temp.txt. Uh, and we've done uh, 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 something similar to this in a previous problem where I'm just going to use uh, the utility sed to, a little, to do a little bit of uh, uh, massaging of the, the format of our data here. Um, so first we want to replace um, every space with a comma. Uh, these need to be comma separated values. So uh, we'll say uh, find every space replace it with a comma everywhere. That's what the, um, the G flag is for global. And we'll feed it our, uh, oh, excuse me, we need to go to our problem directory. And uh, temp.txt. Okay. Um, we'll also need a comma at the end of, uh, of each row. So let's um, add that also. So uh, pipe just means to take the output of this operation and feed it into the next. So we'll say said again, and we'll pre replace the um, end of the row uh, also with a comma. Okay, that looks good. Um, now, the way I want this, uh, these inputs stored in memory is as a two-dimensional array. Um, it might not be entirely obvious uh, why we would want to do it that way, but if you think of how we might access um, each of these elements, uh, uh, the most natural way would be to provide a line number and then an element number. Um, and so it, it, it has the feel of a two-dimensional array, even though many of these elements are going to be zero. Um, you'll note that that does not change the result. We can add uh, as many uh, uh, zeros as we need to to pad this out to a, a full row um, uh, without changing the result. And that's because we're trying to maximize our score, and so adding uh, uh, routes that are, are going to have a score of zero is, uh, is not going to have any impact on the result. Um, there are other approaches we could try where we store it as a, um, as a, as a one-dimensional array 
and uh, and use the equation for the triangle numbers to, to find our elements. But um, uh, this is a, an instance where trading a little bit of memory um, can significantly uh, decrease the complexity of your code. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, so any uh, two-dimensional array is going to be uh, an array of uh, an array of arrays, and each of those arrays needs to begin and end with a, a curly brace. And so, um, and so let's uh, let's add here a, a curly brace, and then another comma at the end of um, oops uh, at the end of the row. Okay, um, so yeah, one thing that I, I mentioned briefly is that uh, these incomplete arrays will be padded with zeros. Uh, th this notation ending with you know a, a, a comma here and no additional elements. Uh, the um, the remaining elements will be initialized to zero. Um, it's just a uh, a quirk of of the C programming language. Okay. So we also want to uh, begin each row with a, uh, a curly brace. So let's do that. That's uh, straightforward enough. OK, that looks good. Uh, there's one more gotcha that we have to be careful about um, in this um, with these numbers. Uh, you'll notice that some of these numbers are uh, have a, a, a 0. Uh, preceding another digit, so like zero four here or zero nine here, um, and that's problematic because uh, uh, preceding an integer literal in C uh, with a zero means to treat it as an octal number. That is a base eight number rather than a decimal number. And so this, uh, for example, I expect that it will uh, it will likely complain about uh, zero nine. In particular, um, and so let's just clean that up a little bit and say um, that we're going to uh, let me think of the syntax here. Um, we want if it's a, a zero and then, or excuse me here, if it's a zero and then uh, some number uh, zero through nine, then replace that with. Um, so, so this syntax here, this um, uh, slash uh, parentheses slash close parentheses, this just allows me to refer to that value with slash one over here. Um, you can see set is a very terse uh, 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 command syntax. Um, uh, I, I would recommend um, you know, spending some time getting familiar with at least some basic uh, you know said commands. It can be very useful. Um, uh, so for example, in this case, if I've done my work correctly, um, does not look like I have. In particular, we can still see um, this 0, 09 is still there. And so I, I, uh, I seem to have made a mistake. Let's pull that back up. Uh, we're going to replace, if you have a 0, followed by a 0 through 9, Oh, uh, yes, we need um, the global flag here to indicate that we're doing it everywhere in, uh, in each row. Otherwise, it will only do the first instance. OK, so that should be our data. Uh, so let's write that to um, input.txt, or excuse me, .h. And we can delete our uh, temp.txt. OK, uh, so let's um, say that this is a uh, uint32t uh, two-dimensional array. We'll call it um, uh, uh, input. And it'll be uh, an n by n array. Uh, it's going to be constant. I'm going to say. Um, n is equal to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
and we'll need to include um, standard integer. Okay, so now we have our, uh, our inputs here. Uh, we can get to solving our problem. Uh, one thing to note is that in the original um, problem here, uh, you know, the, the route uh, going into a, a given cell can come from up and to the left or up and to the right. Um, but we've kind of shifted all these rows down to one um, side, so it's just a, a, a triangle. And so the, um, the routes can come from either the element above, so like this 10 will now be directly above this 47, um, or the element up and to the left, and so uh, you know from this 87 here. Um, so something to keep in mind as we write our solution. Okay, so uh, we'll want, um, uh, let's see, row and uh, element. And so we'll say um, for, um, let's see here. Oh, we will need a, um, uh, we'll need an array to keep our scores, a, a two-dimensional array, rather. Um, and actually, we don't need to make this global. We can we can put this in here. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll need to begin by uh, we need to handle the first row as a little bit of a special case. Um, the other rows are going to be referencing the previous row, but the first row can't. It's the first row. Uh, and so we'll just manually say um, scores 0, 0. That is the first element of the first row is just going to be the same as the, the value of the, um, the first element in the first row of the input. OK, so now we'll want to iterate a uh, row going from uh, 1 to um, uh, 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 and minus one, uh, yes, that should be correct. And then we'll say uh, plus plus row. And then we'll say four. Um, so uh, one one trick we can do here. Um, so th there's two approaches we can we could take. We so the the most um, maybe natural or uh, the the first thing that might come to mind would be to do something like you know lm equals zero. Um, LM is less than or equal to the row plus plus LM. Do some logic and then, you know, close out our loops like this. But the problem is that um, if we're in the, the first element or the last element of a row, we can't check um, both the element uh, 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 above the, our current element and the element up into the left of our current element um, because they don't both exist. And so the logic gets a little bit tricky uh, for handling that uh, correctly. Um, but in those cases, when we're if we're at the first element in the row or the last element in the row, we know where our route must come from. Uh, going back to the, the example here, if we're if we're over here, the route leading to 19 has to come from 20. That's the only place it can come from. Um, and so we can just, uh, uh, for the, the elements on either end, um, make that indication that we're, we're coming from the only uh, element in the previous row that we possibly could be coming from. And so we don't need to handle the first and last elements in a row uh, inside the main loop here. OK, um, so we can say, uh, let's see, scores, and it's going to be uh, row uh, 0 uh, is going to be equal to uh, uh, scores um, row minus 1, 0, plus input uh, row 0. 
And uh, similarly for the, the last element in a, uh, in a row, we'll have uh, scores uh, row row um, is going to be equal to, um, uh, just to explain this real quick, you'll notice that, for example, you know, this is row zero, this is row one, this is row two. And so the last element in the row uh, with index two uh, uh, has index two, you see, uh, zero, one, two. And so this is how we refer to the last element um, in a row. Okay, so the score there is just going to be equal to um, scores row minus one, um, row minus one, plus input row, row. Okay. Now we can handle the uh, the main logic here, and um, to uh, to do this, I'm going to include uh, a little utility from um, uh, algorithm. Let's see if I uh, yes, I do have that pulled up here. So this is the um, the the max uh, uh, template. Um, just finds the the maximum of two elements. Um, just a, 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 an often useful little bit of code to have. Um, and so what we can do here then is say uh, scores for uh, row LM is equal to um, input row LM plus std max. And that's going to be um, uh, row uh, row minus one, uh, LM minus one, and uh, row, oh, excuse me, this should be um, scores, uh, and scores, uh, row minus one, um, LM. Uh, yes, that should be, that should be correct. So this gets the, um, the maximum of the two possibilities, adds it to the value in our current cell, and that gives us the, the score for our cell. Okay. And so now we just need to, uh, we, we filled up our scores uh, array. We just need to iterate over the, um, the bottom row of, uh, of, of our array. And, uh, and find the maximum value. And we have a, a little utility that we wrote for that a little, uh, a little while back. I'll, uh, I'll probably link to that in the, uh, in the description if you're curious. Um, and that is the uh, superlatives class. So we'll say um, uh, superlatives, uh, unit32t, unit32t, um, super. And this is just a, a class for finding the the most optimal um, element of a of a set based on some metric. Um, and you'll you'll see the usage is is quite simple. We just say for uh, lm um, equals zero, lm is less than n plus plus lm, and we'll say uh, super dot add state. Uh, and that's going to be uh, LM and then scores uh, N minus one LM. And then we just say uh, print F, um, optimal route has score percent U, excuse me, uh, score singular. And then we say super dot uh, max val. All right, and we make, and we have some mistakes. Um, and was no, oh I, uh, I, uh, I think I've made this mistake almost every time. Uh, we want to include our input dot h. All right. Um, superlatives. Uh, 
recruited from This is um this is curious. I've used this utility uh quite a few times before without issue. Um No, I, I'm not entirely sure why this would make a difference, but let me try doing it this way. Okay, I think um, my uh, input has a yes, a missing semicolon. There we go. So the yeah the uh, I was pretty sure that that the uh, superlatives class should not have any significant mistakes. So uh, and I was correct in that suspicion. Okay, so um, our, uh, our code has given us the answer 1074. So let's just uh, pull up the archive here and have a look. And we'll see that the answer is indeed uh, 1074. Um, and you'll notice that we didn't specifically have to find uh, the optimal route uh, in order to discover um, this answer, uh, though uh, it would be it would be possible to modify our code if we needed to find the optimal route, uh, we could do so without too much difficulty. Uh, so that will conclude this video, and in the next uh, video, we'll be moving on to problem number nineteen.